Hi friends, welcome to my garden tea party. What a beautiful day to have a few friends over. And I thought this would be such a fun party to have, especially because Mother's Day is right around the corner and because King Charles' coronation is on May 6th. I'm gonna go ahead and get my table set up with a beautiful spring linen, some fresh blooms, and these cards that I got from one of my friends, Cheryl, she makes these, and it is a teapot, and when you open it up inside, there's a teacup with tea. How cute are these? So each of my guests are going to get one of these. Also, this beautiful book, which is called The Bouquets of Love, celebrating the wonderful women in our lives. I've got a lot of food to prepare, my finger sandwiches, and then we're gonna head to one of my favorite bakeries to get some macaroons and delicious desserts. first going to start off by preparing my egg salad and I have this simple tip by spraying a non-stick loaf pan and cracking your eggs into it and then you want to immerse that pan into another container filled with a little bit of water oven proof of course and bake it in the oven at 350 for about 30 to 35 minutes while the eggs are baking I am pulling out all of my teacups and saucers to see which ones I want to go along with my color scheme. Now that the eggs are done and they have cold, I'm going to gently tip it over onto my cutting board. I'm going to chop up my eggs. And then I'm going to add some diced pickles. Yes, I love diced pickles in my egg salad. And some diced up red onion, a little mayo, Dijon mustard, and of course, some salt and pepper. Now it's time to make my honeyed fig crostini and I'm just getting a large baguette and I'm cutting it into one inch pieces. I'm gonna put a little olive oil on top, bake it in the oven at 350 for approximately eight to 10 minutes. And then once they cool off, we're gonna add some regatta cheese, some sliced fig, a drizzle of honey, freshly ground black pepper, and a little bit of fresh mint. I also wanted to add something refreshing to the table. So here I've got some ice with two cans of Spindrift raspberry lime, a little club soda, and I'm also gonna offer my guests if they wanna add a little tequila or vodka, if they're just wanting a little bit more of a spirit this afternoon along with their tea. It's time to get dressed, and I'm going to put on one of my newest favorite dresses. I thought that this would be the perfect dress for my tea party.
it's time to bring out my finger sandwiches, scones, and delicious desserts. I didn't have a three-tiered stand, so I made one up myself by using a cake stand and two glass candle holders and two plates. My guests will be arriving soon, and I'm adding the final touches with these delicate edible flowers. It looks like Archie is getting all comfortable on our lounger, just waiting for our guests to arrive. Always make time for a cup of tea. The details of your missed schedule will fade into beautiful memories of time well spent. No matter how busy you are, you must take time to make the other person feel important. Gentle words carefully placed convey gratitude for the treasured gift of a friend. Letters written become revelations of self-expression and glimpses into the soul. tips I wanted to share with you is you can always bring the indoors out. As you can see, I added a few decorative pieces. I also typed up a few quotes about garden tea parties and put it on some pretty paper and in this gold frame and place it outside here on my patio. When it comes to invitations for your garden tea party, have fun with it. I found this cute one. It's Lady Whistledown's Society Papers Invitation. If you watch Bridgerton, you know exactly what I mean. 
but you can find so many different sites online to find the cutest invitations. We shared a lovely afternoon laughing, telling stories, and enjoying this beautiful day. I thank God for the blessings He has given me and the gift of treasured friends. Thank you so much for watching, friends. And if you do decide to have your own tea party, be sure to post your pictures and tag me. I'm going to leave you with one last quote. As we express our gratitude, we must never forget the highest appreciation is not to utter words, but to live by them.